Welcome back to the uh, Autrix Weekly Challenges with me, Nick Bignall. Um, this is where I attempt the weekly challenge and um, well, I record what I do so you can follow along. Um, this one is um, uh, week five um, and I think it's pretty, well for me, I think it's pretty challenging. Um, it's some things uh, that I've not really done before. So actually, if you just look at the index, you'll see where you get it from. It says it's uh, intermediate and it's apps. So this is something I've used a little bit in the past, but a long time ago, and actually, were you know, very um, I wasn't I wasn't a master in it. So um, so we'll try and work this out um, as we go. Uh, so the, the goal of this one is um, an HR department has defined a hierarchy for job identification across the org. Uh, depending on the job, uh, the position within that hierarchy can change. Um, so the goal is to create a, an app that allows uh, someone to enter a particular number um, and then return all the records for where that position is found in the hierarchy. Okay, so, so let's... Uh, Let's go to the uh, challenge. Now, I was having a quick look um, uh, before. So, if we look at the challenge, um, here's, here's a, uh, an image of what the output uh, should look like in the interface tools, um, which uh, is interesting in that uh, it's a drop down selection. So, we need to work out how we get a, uh, a drop down and obviously. Get it populated with the um, the the field, the potential options. Now, before when I've done interface tools, I've used like text inputs, and so I mean, you know that that's straightforward. But we've actually got to find this data and bring it in. So that's going to be interesting. Um, now, one thing I did check on here is that in the drop down uh, options, where oh, maybe this one, where you're bringing in a Tool. Let's have a look here. Um, it, it, this is the this is where you're doing it um, as part of a uh, I guess dynamic select, but we wanted it to be um, more of a well, if you look at the actions, more of a um, updating the field. Um, so if we look here, input update and in, uh, input data. So this to change the input data source based on a selection. For a, so in this case, they've um, it looks like it's fairly straightforward text, um, and then you you know update data input uh, tool. So it would then change. I'm guessing um, change it to be what you selected. Um, so uh, I also saw that there were, you could, you know, if you have an external file with a lookup, then you can connect to it. Uh, where was that? Um, as a, yeah, so update a data cell. So this is what we actually want here. Um, so here's a, here's a text, you enter the text and then it will update this particular cell see it's got a placeholder and the action itself is one first you know to update the first row first column because if we go back to the thing what we've got here in our input is just like that sim simple you know one field one field one cell uh, to update that will allow us i think to then look up uh, this data set which is the data set we want to pull back, and if we can find that value in this data set, then we can then we've got our output. So, um, so we first of all we need to work out how to get this data set into um, the action. Okay, so um, we might need to um, let's just move that down there. Just give ourselves some room. Um, actually, move it right down. Uh, out the way because obviously we're going to input. Let's just do that to start with. Uh, input an action. Okay, so it is the update cell is defaulted, um, so that's what we we want to we want to use. Um, and then we want the drop down because we want to drop down to update it. So, so 
be. So that just does it. There's nothing there. So it's the various options. Fields from connecting tool. So when I was looking at this before, I couldn't see an option to bring in like a list. Um, the only one I could see was this fields from connected tool. Um, and then it will basically it will bring in the value of those fields. Um, but it's the field names that it brings in. So it, it's, um, so what we might need to do, because we've only got, uh, 19, 19 different rows, um, and probably, uh, less um actually combinations of uh unique ids then we can just create a cross i guess a cross tab with a uh, uh with them so let's uh let's start by getting all these in uh one row so uh so we want to take the four four columns and put them into one that's I'm thinking the way to do it. I'm sure there's an easier way of doing it, but uh, this is what I'm thinking. So I don't want any key fields because I don't want any of them left there, and I want them all to be put into the data. Okay, so if we just quickly run that, uh, what do we get? So here we get we get basically two values, name and value, um, and then one's got the the field name in it, and the other's got the value. So we we want to well, we want to do some cleaning up of that. So let's um, uh, let's get rid of the well, let's unique it <clears throat> first of all. Let's so unique it on value, so we only get one of each. Um, otherwise, in our drop down, we'll get multiple of the same thing appearing. Um, uh, and then we also want to filter out um, the null. Um, so select value is not null. <clears throat> okay, so that should clean up that data set uh, quite a bit. Here we go. So we have, um, yeah, so we have a unique set of numbers. It looks similar to the numbers that are on here. Okay, so we now have our, this, but it, but from what I could see from here, you can't, or as far as I know, you couldn't, there's no option to uh, bring in a data set from like a path, you know, you can bring it from external and do it the way I think we can do it, which is another transpose. And basically we will actually transform, it's a cross tab um, to switch it the other way. Um, now the issue we have is that um we need the values to be in there as well hold on because this will just give us the we um i'm wondering well, let's try it and see so uh column headers we want to be the value um and uh we just do the first one i think let's see what we get there Oh, it doesn't like that. Cannot be the same field. Header and field and data field cannot be the same. So that's not what I wanted. No, I thought I changed it. Headers to value. Okay, right. Right, there we go. So let's, um, okay, so now we have all of the values that way. Okay, so can we just hook that in there? Right, and will that give us what we're looking for? Okay, so now we have, because we've brought these interface tools in, we now have this new runner's analytics tool. So if I run that, what do I get? Oh, I've got me drop down, and I've got the selection. Okay, so we have, um, we have them all uh, listed, and that's exactly what we want here. Brilliant. Okay, so um, uh, cancel cancel that for now because we need to actually run this into. So here's the output we're expecting. Um, 
So let's um, let's see if we can then do do that. So we'll have a whatever we select come out of here. So let's think of a way of okay if we can add that to the to the data set we can then do a simple formula to check if if it matches um, okay so let's append it here um, uh, we've got the source which is position number just move that up because um, it's the first one in here um, and then we have the thing so that should give us everything we want um, and then uh, what we want to do is prepare basically just uh, create a way of just working out if uh, that's in there. So I'm going to do it uh, only because I don't know any better. Uh, call, create a field called match, which is one that will give us a bit, uh, the, whether it exists or not. We don't need it as a VW string. I'm not really sure why it defaults to that. Um, so simple if if statement. I always just like to pick that, and it is the um, if the position number equals uh, zero one, or uh, now we just copy copy this a few times because we want to check it for each field. Uh, level two, no level one, then. Uh, level two or uh, level three. Okay, we don't need that last. Or then uh, I'm just going to put uh, yes or a y uh, else no. Right, okay, so that's been our statement. It's uh simple it should give us um yeah, sort of no and then what we can do is simply filter on the uh the yeses. So if we come on give me the field, there we go. Um if it equals y and then a very uh, then we can just uh, then we just need to get rid of the fields we don't need anymore okay so um, so we need all of these but we don't need that one um, and we need an output of some sort I believe because if we just run this what will happen so let's select one um, doesn't matter which one that one finish it will run there were no output files, so looks like it was successful, um, but I can't um, I can't see the results. <laughs> so um, okay, so exit out of that. Uh, let's um, let's just bring in an output tool. Um, and uh, we'll create a, just create a file, and uh, we'll call it uh, out. Put um, well, challenge five, and we want it as a, a CSV. I guess doesn't really matter. Actually, we'll just do it as an Excel, um, and save that. Sheet one, okay. Um, okay, so that should give us a result. So let's see. Um, let's uh, run run the thing. So I think in the example it was three 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 three. Okay, so let's um, run that. See what we get. Okay, so we have an output uh, output challenge. Let's have a look at. It's given us a link in the so they were written to that particular Excel sheet one. Let's click on it and see. Um, I'll open it in Excel. Thank you. And see what we got. If Excel actually opens, there we are. Okay, so uh, we have uh, three 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 and 
these are the um, these are the numbers, three rows. Okay, so if we go back to our um, let's clear all this out of the way. Oh, uh, let's close that um, and look at our output. You can see we have the same just up here. I think three 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 six six seven so seven and three eight eight eight. Let me just switch back here. Three 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 six six seven. Perfect. There you go. So we now have uh, one app created. So um, brilliant. We can now save that and um, post it back to the challenge website. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much, and join me next time.